Emerging trends in low-cost, high-resolution displays widely available on portable devices and interactive techniques provide new opportunities to bring the power of expensive optometry devices to people's hands. While optometry devices primarily measure the patient's required refractive corrections, our programmable display can also measure one's range of accommodation and focusing speed. Our approach can address the three common types of eye refractive disorders, myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism, as well as presbyopia. The range of accommodation varies for each type of condition. Our system works by displaying a pattern that passes through an array of lenslets. This allows us to create virtual images at variable depths by changing the vergence of the rays that leave the lenslets. When a pattern is created at infinity, a normal eye will automatically focus at infinity, converging the light rays on the retina. For myope individuals, that is, bad farsighted, our system can bring the virtual point closer, resulting in diverging rays that allow those individuals to focus a sharp image on the retina. In the case of hyperopes, that is, bad nearsighted, moving the pattern apart creates converging rays, which allow these individuals to perceive a sharp image. By knowing how much points move on the screen, our method can compute the subject's refractive errors as well as the range of accommodation. We designed and evaluated a two-step interactive method based on smart patterns, one for detecting where the subject is focusing, and the other for changing accommodation state. First, the subject, focusing at infinity, aligns line segments at different orientations. The angle of the least distortion is used as the meridian for measuring the subject's range of accommodation. Since the segments have been aligned and the user is focusing at infinity, we replace the lines with two-dimensional sinusoidal patterns and start to move them closer. This is intended to induce the subject to accommodate all the way to the nearest discernible point. At the end of this two-step procedure, we will have measured the spherical error associated with myopia or hyperopia, the cylindrical error, and the corresponding axis of astigmatism, as well as the closest point of focus for possible presbyopia to correction. We built four different optical setups, a main evaluation setup that has a precision of approximately 0.16 diopters per displaced pixel, a head-mounted display setup with precision of 0.3 diopters per displaced pixel, a cell phone setup that provides approximately 0.75 diopters per displaced pixel, and a ViewMaster setup consisting only of sliding pinhole masks. With a camera focused at infinity, we used our evaluation prototype to estimate the refractive power of a set of lenses with different refractive power, both convergent and divergent. The estimated refractive powers confirmed the accuracy of our prototype. In order to check the precision of aligning patterns, we performed a small user evaluation using many different patterns. The analysis of the collected data confirms that sharp patterns increase the precision of the task. It also indicated that line segments are the easiest to align for individuals with astigmatism. For those people, the displayed pattern plays an essential role. In this simulation, moving two crosses along the radial direction produces a spiral in their observed positions and they may never overlap. We notice that lines drawn perpendicular to measurement angles will accurately align at the corrected meridian diopter. In order to verify the quality of our prescription for humans, we invited people with normal vision and with some abnormality to check our setup and do the interactive method. Our system can be used to evaluate the quality of optical systems. For instance, it could be used to evaluate the quality of digital cameras. In this paper, we presented a portable and inexpensive system for self-examination of visual acuity that is capable of measuring the most common refractive eye disorders. The same way that other digital technologies have transformed health awareness, we hope new interactive programmable displays can spur research in human visual probes.